Hey, today we'll be painting a really cool environment sketch and as usual I will break down all the main steps. My name is Victor, I'm a concept artist and this process took roughly 2 hours. The whole thing started with me gathering a few reference images from the internet of old fortresses, castles and similar buildings in various times of the day to get maybe some inspiration and some idea for the lighting I might go for. While doing the line sketch, your main goal is to understand the composition and aim for a nice balance of shape contrast. It's super early in the process, so you will have the chance to rearrange, fix and even completely change some parts of the drawing later. An interesting thing that I noticed is that the tighter the line work is in the beginning and the more detailed it is, the harder it is for me to go over the borders when painting later on. And sometimes this might make a painting feel too tense, so to speak with less edge variation, so in the future we'll definitely experiment with a less controlled line work sketch. Now you can put down some flat color, and again if you have some refs that can guide you, feel free to color pick from there for example, the value and hue of the grass, and if you don't like it just paint it over with a different one. For now we don't worry about lighting and form, but instead just flat value and color over all the elements you had in your sketch. You want to make sure that the values work, that's the most important right now, and your composition is clear. After you blocked in all the shapes, you can start working on the forms a bit and introduce some direct light for example. In this scenario I was thinking that maybe half of the fortress and a bit of that hill on the right might be in the light and the rest will be in the shadow. So you, you can grab a softer brush, a bit textured maybe, and start glazing and showing which area is in the shadow and also be mindful how the form turns, you want to describe it accurately, more or less. You can try and figure out the areas that are pointed away from the light and then introduce that strong direct light and design the scene as you wish actually, it's all about the mood and the story you want to tell. Quite roughly, I've already placed the main light source on the building. It helps to zoom out sometimes and look from a distance or in a really small format if your image is readable and all the values work. So this is already a good base to start painting on top and add details and textures. But first, you can tackle the water for example and give it that reflection and water surface aspect that will bring the image a bit more realism and depth. It doesn't have to be complicated, just pick yet another soft edged brush and approximate how the reflection might work just by indicating some details and then smudging the brush strokes with the smudge tool is enough to have a decent water reflection surface. Okay, so after spending some time on the water and the shores, I figured that maybe it's a good idea to frame the image a little bit and add some clouds on the top right corner, so a very bold, a darker value and a shape to kind of like create a frame for the whole composition. And I think it might work, it also gives a little bit of more depth to the image and I'm also gonna spend some time to make the castle a little bit more complex in the background because uh, while I was painting this whole thing uh, I kept thinking that it's not you know very intricate there's something lacking some details maybe from from the shapes from the the castle that we created so uh, probably later on I will also add a little bit more to it
I'm thinking that it would be a good idea for the purposes of scale to add, let's say, some birds, maybe like some smaller marks. Some of them will be in shadow, some of them will be sort of in the light, and this will give us a better idea of what are we looking here and how big this thing really is. I also almost forgot that there should be, there probably will be a shadow from the tower in front being cast on the main tower. And I'm still thinking that these walls, these major planes that are facing the light are still lacking some additional information. So I'm testing maybe ways to kind of create ornaments, change a little bit the design so that it doesn't look so flat and simple. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this process, check out the previous video I posted with another cool environment. The link is going to be up here. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps a lot. See you in the next one. Coming soon.